How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? How's it going? Pretty good. Hello. Hello, how are you? Very well, thanks. And you? Fine. Jane, I would like you to meet my brother Nick. Hello, Nick. Pleased to meet you, Jane. Mary, let me introduce you to my sister Jane. Hello, Jane. Pleased to meet you, Mary. Hello, my name's Tom Jackson. Pleased to meet you. My name's Pauline Swan. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Yourself? I'm also good, thank you. Hi, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Yourself? Very well, thanks. Hey, what's up? Nothing much. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. Yourself? Good. How's Kathy? She's good. How's your father? He's been ill lately, but he's getting better now. Hello. How are you doing? I'm okay, thanks. Yourself? Not bad. How's your wife? She's good. How are your kids? They're good. How's your job? It's good. Thanks for asking. Are you English? No, American. Where do you come from? I live in Boston. Hello, my name's Ludmila. Mine's Richard. Are you Russian? Yes, I come from Moscow. Where do you come from? Are you American? No, I come from Canada, actually. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tell me more about yourself, Sven. Where do you come from? I come from Sweden. I was born in Kiruna. Where's that? In northern Sweden, in Lapland. Why did you come here? To brush up my English. Hello, Mary. Hi, John. How's it going? Pretty good. How about you? Busy. I've been working a lot these days. What do you do? I'm a nurse. That's interesting. Where do you work? I work at the city hospital. Do you like your job? I love it. What do you do? Not much these days. I'm looking for a job. What kind of job are you looking for? I'd like to work as a computer programmer. Well, good luck. Thanks. My name is Lena Ellis. I'm a computer programmer. I live in L.A. I'm Nick Wilson. I'm a freshman at Chicago University. My major is history. Hi, Sarah. What's up? I just got a new job. Really? What's the job? A brand manager at Global Fashion. That's great. Good luck with your new job. Hi, Nick. What's new? Oh, I just got a promotion at work. They bumped me up to sales director. Really? That's great news. Congratulations. Thanks. Hi, Pam. How are you? Good, thanks. I've got news for you. Jack and I are getting married next month. Oh, really? That's wonderful news. I'm glad for you. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. Yourself? I'm also good, thanks. I hear you got a new job. That's right. So how is it? Do you like it? It's okay, but it pays less than my last job. 
Sounds good. Do you have my number? No. Here it is. 698-765-4634. Great. I'll call you tomorrow afternoon to make a time for this weekend. Hello. I'm Mike Quinlan. Nice to meet you, Mike. My name is Sally Stewart. It's a pleasure. Where are you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. How about you? I'm from Vancouver, Canada. What are you doing in the United States? I'm traveling on business. Hi. What's your name? Carol, what's yours? Peter, where are you from, Carol? I'm from the U.S. And you? I'm from Russia. Nice to meet you, Carol. Nice to meet you. Hey. Hey, what's up? You are so tan. Where have you been? I just got back from Australia. Australia? Cool. What did you do there? It was another surf trip. You know, I'm a huge fan of surfing. How was it? Oh, it was fantastic. You know, it's never long enough. Gosh, Kate, is that you? It's been a long time. How have you been? I'm fine. Yourself? Good, thanks. It is so good to see you. You look great. You haven't changed a bit. Neither have you. So how's life? What's new? Sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush right now. Mmm, how about we go out for a drink some night? What do you say? Hey, Paul, how are you? I'm good. Yourself? I haven't seen you around lately. Where have you been? Oh, I was out of town. I spent three weeks in Switzerland. Was it for business or travel? I was visiting my friends in Geneva. Jessica, hello. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. You look great. It's been ages since I last saw you. Three years exactly. Right, you haven't changed a bit. So what's up? What's been happening in your life? Not much has been going on. Same old, same old. Hi, I'm George. And you are? I'm Gina. How are you, Gina? Good, thanks. Where are you from? I'm from Britain. How about you? Where are you from? And I'm from Israel. Nice to meet you, Gina. Nice to meet you. Is this your first time here? No, it's my second time. Where are you staying here? I'm staying at a hotel. Hi, what's your name? Jess. It's short for Jessica. And you are... I'm Brent. How are you doing, Jess? I'm fine. Yourself? Good, thanks. Where are you staying? I'm staying at a hotel. It's up there on the hill. Where are you staying? My hotel is right here, across the road. Where are you from? I'm from Holland. How about you? Where are you from? I'm from Australia. Australia? I thought you were French. I heard you speak French to your friend over there. I am French, but I live in Australia. Who's this? Oh, this is my father. He's a teacher. He teaches history. And this is my mother. What's her name? Mary. She's a housewife. Is this your brother? Yes, he goes to high school. And this is my sister, Susan. Are you married? Yes. What's your wife's name? Ellen. Have you got any children? 
No, we got married only a year ago. I see. Do you live with your parents? Yes, we have lived with Bob's parents since we got married. Wouldn't you like to buy a place of your own? Oh, it's our dream to own a home. But housing is very expensive in New York. We can't afford to buy a home of our own. Taxi! Where to? Airport, please. Vnukova? Yes, please. Right. Excuse me? Yes? Is this the flight to Paris? No, this is flight 231 to Delhi. Your flight is 243. Oh, thank you. That's all right. Tea or coffee? Coffee, please. Black or white? Black, please. Large or small? Small, please. Sugar? No sugar, thank you. I'm a little nervous about meeting Cynthia tonight. Who is Cynthia? She is my blind date. Oh, I can see why you might be nervous. Yeah, I want to make a good first impression. Any advice? Just be yourself and try to be polite. But how should I start the conversation? What should I say? Ask her about her job and her interests. Are you Amelia Katz? Yes, I am. You must be Hal Johnson. Yes, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. I thought Larry Jones would be with you. Oh, yes. Larry is running a little late. He'll be here shortly. I see. Shall we have a coffee while we wait? That sounds nice. Here's your boarding card. Gate 11 at 12.15. Thank you. Have a nice flight. Thank you. I'd like to make a call, please. What number do you want? Moscow, 939-8643. Do you know the code for Moscow? I think it's 495. Trying to connect you. It's ringing for you. Thank you. I want to talk to my brother. Call him. I can't. He's on holiday. Where is he? He's in Germany. Is he staying in a hotel? Yes. Call the hotel, then. I'm afraid I don't know the number. What can I do? Write an email, then. It's a nice day today. Yes, I hope it stays like this. The weather was terrible last week. What's the weather like here in summer? It's terribly hot. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Radio says sunny and mild. Hello, Pauline. Did you have a nice time in Switzerland? Hello, James. Yes, we did, thanks. We didn't have a very good weather, but we still had a good time. You're going camping in France next week, aren't you? That's right. I hope you'll have nice weather. So do I. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. I think I saw you yesterday at reception. Yeah, I was trying to book tickets for a water park. My kids want to go splash around. Which one do you want to go to? There are three water parks in Dubai. I hear Wild Wadi is pretty good. Are you staying in this hotel? Yes, we are. In that case, you should go to Ice Land. It's closer, and then it's new. Wild Wadi is rather old. Okay, thank you. We'll go to Iceland, then. Do we need to book tickets in advance? No, you usually buy tickets there. Do you live in Dubai? No, I actually work here for my husband's company. Your English is very good. Where are you from? Are you Russian? That's right. I'm from St. Petersburg. Really? I've been there once. Ten years ago. It's a beautiful city. You speak very good English for a Russian person. Where did you learn it? I spent some time in the U.S., and now I'm working for an American company. Okay. Thanks again for your recommendation. You're welcome. Have a nice day. How old are you? I'm 39. Do you have a family? I'm married and I have two kids.
a boy and a girl. How old are your kids? They are seven and ten years old. They're in school. What do you do in life anyway? I'm a doctor. I work in a hospital. How old is your wife? She's 35. What does she do? She's a designer. At the moment, she's looking for a job. How old are you? I'm 25. Do you have a family? No, I'm not married yet. I have a girlfriend, though. Are you a student? No, I graduated last year with a master's degree in economics. Cool. Have you found a job yet? I have. At the moment, I'm working for Microsoft as an economic consultant. Are you happy with your job? Totally. It's exactly what I wanted. Hi. What's your name? David. What's yours? Fred. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. And you? I'm from Sweden. Is this your first time in Shanghai? Yes. This is my first time. Are you here on business or vacation? I'm here for a business convention. How about you? Are you here on business or vacation? Both. We've come here for the film festival. I'm also looking for some property to buy. Are you here by yourself? No, I'm here with my wife. She has gone shopping. Where are you staying? We're staying at the Marriott. Hello, I'm Liz. And you are? I'm Henry. How are you doing, Liz? Good, thanks. Are you staying in this hotel? Yes, I am. Are you staying here too? No. Hotels are expensive here. I'm renting an apartment in the city center. Oh, okay. Are you here by yourself? No. I'm here with my family. How about you? I'm here with a friend. Is this your first time in Colombo? Actually, yes. This is my first time. Do you like it here? Yeah, it's a nice place. It's too hot, though. How long will you be in Sri Lanka? Until the end of next week. Will you stay in Colombo the whole time? No, we'll stay here two more days and then we'll go to the Hikaduwa Resort. Oh, it's a long way from here. Five hours by car. Okay, it was nice chatting with you. I've got to get going now. Okay, have a good time. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Where were you born? I was born and raised in Moscow. I moved to Canada ten years ago. Do you like living in Canada? It was tough in the beginning. And still, I have to work hard to pay off my loans for the house and for the car. But on the whole, I'm happy with my life. Did you bring your family to Canada from Russia? Sure. But it so happened that my wife and I got a divorce four years ago. Our daughter is in college. She's living with her mother, my ex-wife. And our son is studying in the U.S. What do you do professionally? I'm a general manager in a trading company. What does your company do? We sell digital equipment. Is that a big company? It's huge. We have offices in many countries. Our head office is in Berlin. What do you do in life? I'm an entrepreneur. I run my own business. What kind of business? It's a beauty salon. I employ six people. I work as a beautician in the salon, too. Is business good? It depends on the seasons. We have a lot of customers in the spring and in the summer. In the winter, it slows down a bit. But on the whole, yes, it's pretty good. What do you do? I'm a math professor. 
I teach math at a university. I teach math in college. How long have you been doing that? Since I graduated. Do you like your job? I do. I like teaching. I like working with students. What do you do in life? I'm a travel agent. I run my own tour company. Do you work in an office or at home? Both. On weekdays, I work in the office, and on weekends, I work at home. What do you do at your job? I book airplane tickets, boat trips, and hotels. I sell package trips as well. Do you like your job? I like it because I'm my own boss. I've been in this business for over 10 years. I have lots of regular customers. What do you do professionally? I'm in fashion marketing. What does your company do? It's a chain of boutiques. We sell designer clothing. Do you like your job? It requires a lot of commitment and responsibility, but I like it a lot. What do you do professionally? I'm in the pharmaceutical business. My company promotes medicines and beauty products on the Russian market. Do you make good money? Well, it depends on the deal. How long have you been in this business? Seven years. What's your professional background? I worked in an oil company for 10 years. After that, I quit and changed fields. What do you do for a living? I'm in network marketing. What does your company do? We sell household products like laundry detergents, dishwasher fluids, cleaners, sanitizers, air fresheners, shampoos, soaps, and so on. Do you sell or recruit? I started as a salesperson, but now I both sell and recruit. What do you do? I'm an accountant. What company are you working for? I used to work for an auditing firm, but my position became redundant due to the financial crisis, so I lost my job. Are you looking for a job? Yes, I am, but it's hard to get a job now. What do you do? At the moment, I'm looking for a job. What's your professional background? I used to manage at an art gallery, but it went broke. Before that, I worked as a PR manager at a theater company. What did you do? Fundraising and arranging tours for the actors. Then the owner decided to start an acting school, and he promised me a raise, but in fact, I was fired. What kind of job are you looking for? I want to change fields and get a job in sales. What do you do professionally? I'm a journalist. At the moment, I'm working freelance. I had a full-time job at a publication, but I lost that job six months ago. Why did you lose your job? I didn't get along with my boss. At some point, I didn't get paid for two months, and I had to quit. Are you a student? Yes, I am. I am in law school. Do you have a job? I'm working part-time as a waiter. Do you work in the daytime? No, I usually have classes during the day. I work night shifts at a restaurant. Did you go to college? Yes, I did. What did you study? I majored in marketing. Do you work in the marketing field? No. I work in human resources. I'm HR manager. What kind of education do you have? I have a bachelor's degree in computer science and a master's degree in management. What field are you working in? At the moment, I'm working as an IT manager for Tulip Food Company. Do you like your job? It's okay. I have a good salary and good career opportunities. What do you want to achieve in your career? I want to become CEO of a company. What education do you have? I have a degree in literature and arts. Are you working in the field you majored in? I'm an art teacher. I teach at the university. What did you study? I have an MBA in bank management. Do you work in banking? Yes, I've always been in banking. I started as a bank teller and within 10 years rose to branch manager. Are you a student? No, I graduated last year with a bachelor's degree in psychology. Do you have a job? At the moment, I'm working at a school with kids. Do you like your job? It's okay, but it's temporary. I want to get my master's degree in HR management and get a job in advertising. Are you a student? I'm in my third year of college. What's your major? Linguistics. I'm going to get a diploma in interpreting. What do you plan to do after graduating? I plan on starting my own business, a translation agency. Are you a student? I graduated last year with a bachelor's degree in economics. Do you have a job? Not yet. I sent out letters everywhere, and at the moment I'm considering a few job offers. What kind of job are you looking for? To be an economic consultant would be perfect. Do you plan to continue your formal education? Yes. In two or three years, I want to get an MBA in economics. 
Did you go to college? I went for two years, and then I dropped out. Why? My father died in the middle of my first year of college. My family could not pay for my education anymore. I had to take out a loan to be able to finish the second year. Then I dropped out and got a job to pay off my debt. Do you want to go back to college? Sure, if I make enough money. I'll do it next year. What do you do for fun? I'm a huge basketball fan. When I was a student, I used to play professional basketball. Do you play basketball now? I still play basketball a lot, but not on a professional team. What do you do for fun? I like music. Do you play an instrument? I play the piano. I can sing, too. What do you do for fun? I like driving fast cars. On my last trip to Europe, my friend and I rented a Ferrari and drove all the way from Barcelona to Nice. It was really fun. What do you do for fun? I'm a big tennis fan. I usually play tennis with my coach on Thursday or Friday night. Do you sometimes play at tournaments? I did when I was a student. What do you do for fun? Downhill skiing is my passion. Every year I go to downhill ski in the Alps. Downhill skiing is a dangerous sport. I love danger. I want to try skydiving, too. What do you do in your spare time? I like watching football games on TV. Do you play football? Sometimes my friends and I play football on weekends. So, where are you from? I was born in California, but I live in Seattle. Can I ask you about your family? Sure, why not? Okay. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have an older brother and a younger sister. How old are they? My brother's 33 and my sister's 12. I see. And which year were you born? In 1991. How about you? I was born in 1991, too. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Nope. I'm an only child. When is your birthday? March 31st. When's yours? June 11th. You're three months older than me. Hey, Linda, how large is your family? I have a big family. There are seven of us. Wow. How many brothers do you have? Two. How large is your family? There are four of us. Do you have a brother or a sister? A brother. He's younger than I am. Do you get along with him? Yeah, but sometimes I wish I was an only child. Hi, Sue. What are you doing? Hey, David. I'm making a birthday card. Who's it for? My sister. When is her birthday? It's the day after tomorrow. How old is she going to be? She'll be 12. How come you never make me a birthday card? Well, when is your birthday? On February 28th. Okay, I'll make you a card next year. Leslie, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have three brothers and two sisters. That's a big family. Are you the oldest? Well, I'm the oldest girl. How large is your family? There are five of us. It sounds like you have brothers or sisters, too. Right. I have an older sister and a younger brother. Oh, so you're the middle child. Yep, I'm right in the middle. So, tell me a little bit about your family. I have a big family. There are ten of us. Wow. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have four brothers and three sisters. How old are they? Four are older and three are younger. I'm the middle child. Interesting. And which year were you born? In 1993. Your name, please. My name is Linda Johnson. And what do you do, Linda? I'm a high school history teacher. That's interesting. Where are you from? I'm from Orlando, Florida. I see. And why do you want to start selling ice cream? Well, I have spare time this summer. I'd like to make some extra money. Hi, Steve. How's it going? You look nervous. Hi, Kelly. I'm about to meet Dr. Simmons. Our biology professor? What for? I'm not doing well in that class. I want to drop it. What's the big deal? I've never done this before. What should I say? Just tell her the truth. I'm sure you're not the first student to drop her class.
Good point. Thanks. Hi, I'm Wendy. I'll be your waitress today. Can I get you something to drink? Yes, three coffees, please. Three? Yeah. My friends should be here any minute. Okay, I see. Three coffees then. Anything to eat? No, nothing to eat. Just the coffees, please. Okay. Three coffees coming up. Milk and sugar? Hmm. I'm not sure. Could you bring some on the side? Sure thing. Thank you. Hello. Speedy Deliveries. This is Jason speaking. Hi, this is Margaret from Comtex. I have a question. How long would it take to ship a large box to Singapore? Our Asian connections have just been improved. Now shipments to Singapore only take three weeks. Great. And how much would that cost? Let's see. That would be $120 per 100 pounds. Not bad. So if the shipment leaves today, it will arrive in three weeks? That's right. Do you have any brothers or sisters? I have two brothers and one sister. How many people are in your family? There are four of us. I'm the middle child. I have an older sister and a younger brother. There are only three of us. My father, my mother, and me. I'm an only child. Which year were you born? In 1942. When's your birthday? On April 12th. How old is your brother? He's 25. Tell me about yourself. My name's Josh. I'm 34. I'm American. Were you born in the U.S.? No, I was born in Albania. My parents immigrated when I was 10 years old. Do your parents still live in the U.S.? They do. They live in Florida, and I live in New York. Do you ever go to Albania? I go back every once in a while. I still have some relatives there. Where do you live in New York? I live in Manhattan. What do you do? I'm in the television business. I'm a broadcast journalist. Where are you from? I'm from Germany, but I was born in Turkey. So your parents are Turkish? That's right. I'm Turkish, too. So is my brother. But all of us have German passports. Do you ever visit your native country? Almost every year. My parents like to go there. Did you go to college? Did you study at the university? Yes, I did. I have a degree in marketing. How old are you? I'm 28. Do you have a family? I have a wife and a kid. How old is your wife? She's two years younger than me. She's 26. What do you do professionally? I'm a sales manager at a car dealership. How about your wife? What does she do? She's a dance teacher, but she's not working at the moment. She's taking care of our one-year-old son. Gina, do you have a family? No, not yet. For now, my career is my priority. The biggest part of my life is devoted to work. What do you do professionally? I'm head of marketing in a publishing house. Are you busy with work? Yes, I am. Oftentimes I work extra hours. What do you do in your free time? I'm in love with going to the gym. I work out in the gym three or four times a week. Hi, John. Tell me about yourself. Well... I'm 42 years old. I'm married. My daughter, Marsha, is 18 years old. She's a student. What do you do professionally? I'm head of staff in a big company. 
Is your job demanding? Oh, yes. I'm working with a team of 20 people. What do you do in your spare time? I like traveling. I'm also a huge fan of scuba diving. Where do you usually go to dive? Usually Egypt. It's the best place for diving. I've also been to Bali, the Maldives, the Philippines, the Galapagos Islands. What's your name? Jeff Gordon. Are you American? Yes, I am. Where were you born? I was born and raised in New York. How about your parents? My mother is Jewish. She was born in Poland. She was brought to the U.S. by her parents back in the mid-60s. My father is Italian with a Jewish background, but he was born in the U.S. Do your parents live in New York, too? No, my parents are divorced. My mother is now living in New Jersey with her new husband, and my father lives in California. What do you do in life? I'm a columnist. I write articles for newspapers and magazines. What do you do for fun? I play guitar. When I was younger, I used to play in a rock band. Excuse me. Could you tell me where the nearest cinema is? Take a number 12 bus and get off at Park Street. Is this the right way to the picture gallery? Yes, it is. Does this bus go to the National Museum? Yes, it does. Excuse me, could you tell me how to get to the nearest bank? I've lost my way. Yes, go straight ahead to the traffic lights, turn left and then right. It'll take you about five minutes. Thank you very much. Lena, do you like British food? Well, I prefer food from my own country. You mean Russian food? Yes, but I think British food is very healthy. What do you do for fun? I love reading. What kind of books do you usually pick in the bookstore? Crime stories are my favorite books. I love adventure stories, too. Who are your favorite authors? Stephen King and John Grisham. His runaway novel, The Firm, is my favorite. What do you do in your free time? I like cooking. And because I have a big family, I have to cook a lot. What do you usually cook? What kind of food? There are dishes that I cook on a regular basis, but I always like to improvise and try something new. My favorite food is Italian food. It's easy to cook, and the ingredients for Italian dishes are available in any food store. What do you do for fun? I like traveling. Where do you usually travel? Many places. My favorite travel destination is Southeast Asia. Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia. Do you usually travel by yourself? No, I usually travel with my friends or with my girlfriend. What do you usually do when you travel? We hang out on the beach. We go scuba diving and snorkeling. I personally like riding a scooter. My girlfriend goes shopping a lot. How large is your family, Mel? It's not very big. There are only four of us. Let's see. Mom, Dad, you, and a brother? No, an older sister, Jen. How old is Jen? She's 17. And how old are you? I'm 14. Hi, Tad. What are you doing here? Hey, Betty. I'm looking for a birthday present. Whose birthday is it? My friend Matt's. His birthday is on Friday. Really? My friend Mandy's is the same day. Great. Why don't you shop with me? Okay. How old is Matt going to be? 18. How about Mandy? Fish and chips, please. With salt and vinegar? Just salt, please. To have here or take away? Here, please. And a can of lemonade, please. 250 pounds, please. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, not bad. Not bad at all. I like British food. Can I help you? Yes, please. Could we have a cup of tea and a glass of milk? Do you want anything to eat? Can we have two sandwiches and two pizzas with ham, salami, sausage, black olives, and sliced mushrooms?
What sort of work do you do? Factory work, assembly line. What sort of work exactly? Well, it's assembling refrigerators. Do you enjoy it? Well, it's a job, isn't it? Hmm. Tell me about it. Well, there isn't anything to say, I mean. The refrigerator comes along. I put the door on. I put in a few screws. Then another refrigerator comes along and I do the same thing all over again. What time does class start? It starts at 9 o'clock. What classes are you taking? Chemistry, English and Math. When is the homework due? It's due on Monday. Where do you usually study? In the library or at home. How often do you practice? Usually twice a week. How long does the exam take? About 90 minutes. Can I borrow a pen? Yes, here you go. Can you help me out? Sure, what do you need? First, I'll need some information about your family. Okay, what would you like to know? How many people are in your family? There are six of us. All right. And do you have any brothers or sisters? I have two older brothers and a younger sister. Okay. How old are they? My brothers are 26 and 28, and my sister's 16. Great. Now, how old are you? I'm 20. Hello, is Tally Pentler there? This is she. I'm from Timco. And we're taking a poll. I see. What are you asking about? We're collecting information about families. How large is yours? There are seven of us. We have five children. Great. And how old are your children, please? You really want to leave, Mary. You don't like your job? I don't like it very much. My work isn't very interesting. You're a secretary, aren't you? Yes. And how long have you been at this job? Two years. It's very boring. I'd like to do interviews with famous people on TV. Why is that? Talking to people about their lives would be very interesting. Who would you interview? Anybody famous. Politicians, movie stars, authors. Excuse me, can you help me out? Sure. What do you need? Thanks. I'm a new student here, and I can't find my classroom. What class are you looking for? Math. It's in room 102. Where is that? Hey, we're in the same class. We can go together. Thanks. Oh, I'm Lynn. Hi, I'm Lee. Nice to meet you. By the way, how long does math class last? Every class lasts 50 minutes. Then we have a 10-minute break. Are you in any clubs? I'm on the soccer team and in the school band. Oh, I'm in the band too. Um, when do we practice? Practice starts at 3.30 in the auditorium and lasts until 5. Where's the auditorium? I'll show you later. Oh, hey, we'd better get to class. It starts in 5 minutes. Could you help me with this question? Okay, what's the problem? Hi, Nancy. What are you doing? I'm sending an email to a friend. Do you use email often? Every day. How about you? Me too. I also surf the net for news and sports. The internet is great, isn't it? It sure is. Hey, Nancy, would you do me a favor? I want to check my email too. No problem. I'll be finished in about five minutes. Thanks. You've taken my pen. Oh, have I? I'm sorry. That's all right. You're late. I've been waiting for an hour. I'm awfully sorry. Why did you lie to me? Please forgive me. Why were you so rude to me? Sorry, I didn't mean to be. 
You didn't ring me last night. You said you would. I just forgot. I do apologize, darling. All right. Let me give you a lift home. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Hi, what's your name? Nick, what's yours? Sandra, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Germany. And you? I'm from the U.S. Is this your first time in Moscow? No, I've been here a couple of times. Are you here on business or vacation? I'm here for work. How about you? I'm here on vacation. Do you like it here? Yeah, I like it a lot. Where are you staying here? I'm staying with some friends of mine. How about you? I'm staying at the Hyatt. It's the new hotel next to Red Square. It must be very expensive. It is very expensive. You can't find a cheap hotel in Moscow. Hi. How are you? Good, thanks. What's your name? Kate. And I'm Paolo. Where are you from, Kate? I'm from Moscow, Russia. Really? I've been there once. And where are you from? I'm from Italy. Oh, I love Italy. I've been there six or seven times. That's great. Where do you live in Italy? I live in Venice. Well, Venice is a beautiful place. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. What's your name? Sveta, what's yours? I'm Peter. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you Russian? Yes, I am. Where are you from in Russia? I'm from Nizhny Novgorod. I have some friends in Nizhny Novgorod. Oh, really? And where are you from? I'm from Norway. Can I help you? Yes, these shoes are a bit small. Have you got any in a larger size? I'll just have a look. Back in a minute. No, I'm afraid I haven't. Would you like to try these on? Oh, they're nice, too. How much are they? They're £49.99. Pounds. They fit perfectly. I'll take them, please. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a pair of trousers. What size do you take? Seven and a half, I think. Would you like to try these on? Yes, they're okay. How much are they? They're fifty pounds. I'll take them. Good morning, madam. Have you got a ticket? Yes, here you are. Flight 355 to London? That's right. Can you put your case on the scales? Can I have a window seat, please? No, I'm very sorry. There isn't one. Okay. There you are, madam. Seat 23C. Here is your boarding pass. At gate 2 in an hour. Thank you. Are you going anywhere this summer? We're off on a tour to Italy for a week or two. That sounds wonderful. Are you traveling by coach? No, by car, actually. When you're in Rome, you must remember to throw a coin over your shoulder into the Trevi Fountain. Really? What for? Well, if you do that, it means that sooner or later, you're sure to return. I'd like a room, please. Certainly, madam. What name is it, please? Jefferson. Can you spell that one for me, please? J-E-F-F-E-R-S-O-N. Initial. Pardon? What is your first name? Oh, Catherine. Is that Catherine with a C or with a K? C. Just sign here, please. Thank you. This is your key. Your room is 439, third floor. The lift is just behind you. What do you do in life? I'm a freelance journalist and a blogger. What do you do in your spare time? I love DJing. A friend of mine owns a bar. 
On weekends, I play music in his bar. Is it difficult to learn how to DJ? Not at all. It takes two days to learn as long as you can count to four. That's a joke, right? No, literally. With computer technology, DJing has become way easier than it used to be back in the 80s and 90s. Now all you have to do is learn to manipulate MP3 files on your laptop. Hey, what are you doing on Friday? I don't have any plans yet. What's up? Do you want to go see the new Brad Pitt movie? Oh, I saw that two weeks ago. Well, what do you want to see? I heard the new comedy with Queen Latifah is pretty good. Okay, let's see that. It probably starts at 7 o'clock, so I'll pick you up at 6.30. Hey, can you help me out? Sure. What do you need? Could you help me carry this equipment to the baseball field? No problem. It looks pretty heavy. By the way, how's the baseball team doing? We're doing pretty well this year. We won our first three games. Hey, that's really good. I wish our basketball team would win for a change. What do you mean? We're terrible. We've lost every single game this year. Okay, we're here. Can you put the bag down on the ground over there? Sure. Well, good luck with the game on Saturday. Thanks. You too. Hey, Mike. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Oh, hey, Gina. I've been really busy lately. Really? What's going on? I'm in the orchestra, and we have a big concert next week. You must be practicing hard. How often do you practice? I have practice every day until 8 o'clock, so I don't get home until almost 9. So that's why you look so tired. Yeah, and I have to wake up at 5.30 for swimming practice. Wow. So when do you have time to study? I can't believe it's the first day of school again. I know. Summer went by so quickly. How's your schedule for this semester? Let's see. First period is chemistry, then history, then music. What time do you have lunch? My lunch is from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock. How about you? What are you taking? I'm taking geometry, physics, English, French, and my lunch is at noon. What time is your English class? My schedule says it starts at 1 o'clock. The teacher is Mr. Brown. Uh-oh. I've heard that Mr. Brown gives really difficult tests and lots of homework. You're kidding. I think I'm ready for summer vacation already. What do you do for fun? I'm a great fan of scuba diving. I go on a diving trip three or four times a year. I'm a member of a diver's club. We usually travel with a team of people from our club. Where do you usually travel to dive? Usually Egypt. It's only a four-hour flight from Moscow, and the Red Sea is one of the best places for diving. Do you hold any diving events in your club? All the time. The last event took place in the Fiji Islands. It was an international scuba divers rally for sharks in danger. Do you like traveling? I love traveling. I always travel. I can't live in the same place more than two months. Do you have a job? I have business on the internet. I can work from anywhere. All I need is Wi-Fi. My work allows me to live where I want. What do you prefer to do on your travels? I socialize with people a lot. I make new contacts and find new friends. I keep in touch with many of them through the web. What do you do in your free time? I'm retired. All of my time is my free time. So... What do you do now that you are retired? I like gardening. I grow flowers and fruit trees in my backyard. I like cooking, too. I plan on starting a small restaurant. What do you want to serve in your restaurant? I'm a person with an Italian background. It will be a pizzeria for sure. What do you do for fun? I'm always super busy with work. I don't really have time for fun. But when I do get some free time, I head for the gym. You know I'm a huge fitness fan. I can tell. You're in good shape. Thanks. It must be hard for a person with your lifestyle to stay so fit. You spend a lot of time in the office. I do, actually, so whenever I get a chance, I just head straight for the gym. I feel great after my workouts. Do you have a personal trainer? There are fitness instructors in the club where I go. They are very helpful and give good advice. But I'm pretty aware of my body. I've been a fitness fan my whole life. I get by on my own. 
A lot of people think that being a supermarket manager is a pretty boring job. They think you work with figures all day, that you worry about the price of things like butter, but it isn't like that at all. Well, what is it like then? Well, working with figures is part of my work, of course, but only a very small part. A lot of the job involves dealing with people, uh, keeping people happy. You mean the customers? Not just the customers, but also the staff, the people who work in the supermarket. Goodbye. Bye. See you later. Okay, see you. Take it easy. You too.